Do you want to see recurring tasks in Notion, maybe a specific day or a specific time of the month? You want to be able to do something and be notified for it? Because you can't yet have recurring tasks in Notion, I found a nice little workaround that works for me, so stick around and I'll tell you how. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. So to start with, what I'm going to do is create a database in the calendar view, very similar to what I did in the planner video. And every page in this database I actually treat as a day, which means that the properties in each day can be their own tasks. So what I'm going to do is turn one of these properties into a checkbox, and this can be a recurring task for each and every day. So every day when I go into my calendar, or you'll see later, I actually use the gallery view for this, but it means there's always a reminder to do this task every day. Obviously this doesn't work for a weekly or monthly recurring task, so what I do for that is actually create a formula. So in this formula, what we want to be able to do is identify a specific day of the week. So we're gonna create a weekly recurring task. There are actually a couple of ways that I like to do this, so I'll show you both so you've got the choice. So we're gonna use this day formula where it basically turns all of the days of the week into a number, one through to six, and then zero being Sunday. Because of the way formulas work, it's actually easier just to turn the day into a number and then use that. Then what you want to do is select the current date. And because each input page is its own date, we can just use the property of each page. The way you can do that is just by going down and clicking on date and it will automatically input all the code for you, or you can manually type it out. So what that basically does is if it's Monday today, it will show a one. But what we actually want to do is tell us if it is Monday. So by putting two equal signs, we're asking, is today equal to one? What this does is create a checkbox that will check automatically when that is true. So if we go back into our calendar view, go into properties, and then show the weekly recurring task, you can see that Monday is ticked and the rest of them are not ticked because they don't work because the formula says that's not true. For a monthly task, it is very, very similar. So we're gonna go into formulas. And we're basically going to do the same thing, but instead of using day, we're gonna use date because day is just days of the week. Date is days of a month. So it goes to 31. We're then gonna put the date in again, close the bracket to finish the formula, two equals, and then any number of the month. Because it is the seventh today, it is ticked. And if we go back into the calendar view, go into properties, and then show that new monthly formula, you can see the seventh is ticked, and none of the other days are ticked for that formula. However, Monday is still ticked because of the weekly reoccurring tasks, so you can see two ticks. Another way of doing this, which is one that I personally prefer, is still using formulas, but we're gonna change it a little bit. What I want to be able to do is choose what it shows me when it is or isn't time for the reoccurring task. So what we're gonna do is use the if formula, and all it does is switch something between two different values. So we're now going to input basically the exact same formula we did for the weekly task, but now because of the if formula, whatever we ask, the first thing that we put will be if it's true, and the second thing we put will be if it's false. So for this, I'm gonna put yes if it's true and no if it's false. And then we're going to close the if formula with a bracket. And now you can see we've got some words instead of a tick box. If we go into calendar and show the properties, you can see all the yeses and nos which match and don't match that formula. You can change that yes and no to anything that you want. I personally use emojis, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can do the same thing with the monthly formula. So we go and create another property, add in the formula, starting with if, open the formula up, put in date because we're looking for the month, then select the date property, equals whatever date you want it to be. Now I want to use the emojis instead, so I'm gonna put bracket, enter the emoji, and then close the bracket at the end to finish off the formula. Now I'm gonna go back and put into properties just to show that we've now got a red cross and a green tick instead of a yes or no or a tick box. You can obviously choose whatever you want to put into the formula, just input whatever you want to show. Another thing you can do with the if formula is actually adding in something else. So what I'm gonna do is copy the formula from monthly and paste that in, but now I'm gonna change it slightly. So if it isn't true, instead of putting no, what I'm gonna ask it to do is actually ask another question. So I'm gonna put another if formula in it. So I'm nesting two if formulas and now asking if it is day eight. If it is day eight, I'm gonna put yes. And if it's not, I'm gonna put no. Close the bracket to finish off the formula. This gives you two different outputs for two different points. So what you could do is just have one property of reoccurring tasks. Say you have the seventh, the eighth, and the 10th all have different things you want them to do. Just put a different emoji in for each of those outputs. Now out of personal preference, I prefer using the gallery view. So we're gonna go back into gallery view. I'm gonna filter it down to actually just today so I can see all the tasks that are on for today. 
Now I'm gonna add in the property so all of the tasks that I would need to do today or reoccurring tasks actually show at the bottom of the gallery view. So whatever you've chosen to put as your output, you can see right there and then. And a last quick tip for you is if you've got a list of things you want to do on a specific day of the month, you can put the reoccurring task in and then when you see that you need to do whatever that list is, what you can do is create a template. For example, if I want to review something and I have a lot of different things I want to review, I can have my reoccurring task as a property in the day and then have the list of things as a small template button in each day. So I'll have my list of things to do, then create a template button inside the template of the database. I can then copy my list of things, put it in the box down the bottom. I don't actually want that. Then I can rename this to my weekly list, close that, and now every time I push that button, it will come up with that list of things. And because this is in my database template, every time I create a day, that button will always be there. Which means if the reoccurring property formula that we created tells me I need to review something, I can click on that template and all of those questions will come up. So when you do input a new page into that database, the original calendar, now gallery view, you can just click on the template that you created, which has the template button inside of it. This means if your property is telling you you need to do this task, it will always be there, so you can just push the button and your list of things will be there. Don't forget to watch this video for more Notion tips and tricks, and I'll see you there.